Hei, congratulations to HPK winning 3 to 1 this, this game. And let's start with the comments of the players. So, Alice and Mayfield. So, obviously, it was fun coming back. I played here previously and knew that this is a great place to play. Um, I think for our game at HPK, we started off um, a little bit, a little bit slow, a little bit hesitant, and I give props to Kongasala because they served us hard and and kind of got us out of our normal system. So um, they came out really hard that first set, and luckily we were, we were able to turn it around a little bit and get find our groove towards the end of the first set and then into the second. Um, and I think we had some players play really well, stepped up that haven't been playing too much um, this season and. And it was a great team effort. Everybody worked hard from serving, blocking, attacking. Patu played really great today. Um, so it was a great team effort. And it's always good to get that win right before we head off for Christmas. How about your own own game? Um, you know, like I said, Patu played great today and was giving me some, some great sets. So it's fun when you get put in good situations. Um, and our defense was great too. So. I was pretty happy with our team effort and individual effort, um, but you know, like I said, it's always good. Just wanted to get that win, and that's what we got tonight. Then Rosa Lahtonen, Rosa, saa kommentoida ihan suomeksi. No harmittaa tosi paljon, että niinku ekara jälkeen niinku tuntui meni muuta vielä kolme pistettä. Sitten toka seras tuli ihan hirveästi meillä virheitä, varsinkin syöttövirheitä, ja nekin sitten toka erän jälkeen meni tuli semmoinen niinku henki, että Niin oltiin ihan paniikissa ja ei saa mitään aikaiseksi, se mentiin ihan alas, tuli yksikin virhe ja jotenkin siitä niin kuin me enää päästy ylös nyt toka erään notkahuksesta, että, että no siis omaa peliin mä oon ihan tyytyväinen, että muuten, mutta se ei aina riitä, että pelaa itse peliä. Tota, oliko, onko väsymystä ollut teillä, oliko teillä niin paljon pelejä tässä livenä? Ne mä aika itse koen, että olisi väsymystä. Ja totta kai mä oon reilut tosi kovaa ja on ollut kovia pelejä, mutta en, siis en ainakaan omasta mielestäni niin ole väsynyt. Mm. Puhuu omasta joukkueesta. Mm. No, vähän vaikea sanoa. Ehkä se mennä, niin kuin, että se on enemmän ehkä niin pääsisällä se väsymys niin mm. kaikilla. Että, että ei tavallaan pysty välillä keskittyä, kun ollaan vähän niin kuin, silleen, mutta en ajatellut. Ja, ja sitten vielä, että minkälaista oli Nokiassa? No siis tosi hyvä totta kai pelattiin niinku no siis ei me pelattu mitenkään niinku tosi hyvin että mekin tehtiin paljon virheitä mutta oltiin parempia ja totta kai aina ihan niinku voitettiin 3-0 että kiva sitten tulla tänne pelaa kotihan uusi seuraava peli. As well as on said we started like quite slowly. It took a while to get the right mental approach to the match. We basically started to play when we were down 11, 18 for Kangasala, and of course it was quite late. But then, in my opinion, we didn't play our best match for sure, because many mistakes and usually we pass better. But of course Kangasala served very well tonight, so it's more like they served well than we didn't pass that. My opinion, we were able to control the match with our transition system because we, from a certain point, we started to serve quite continuously, like we were quite good and we were able, with our block defense, to control the spikers, especially the outside eagles. And if I can add something, when you have one player like Mayfield tonight that attacks with 46% of efficiency, Match is easy. I mean, mm. she did a great job. She has improved a lot, in my opinion, since last season. You know, last season when I was here talking, was I was speaking with uh, the other coach, and I said, I remember that, in my opinion, Mayfield was one of the best spikers spiker, in the in the league. Uh, I still think that she can be probably the best one. She has very good qualities, like technic technically and physically speaking, and she has very good attitude in the world. And that makes the difference. And she will to she really wants to improve. So thank you. And 
Very. <coughs> How about you? You and your comments today? No. Um, first, that uh, Hopikos says that they were uh, starting slowly. I think we are starting really, anyway, really good and uh, really right away we could put pressure. Where in other games, uh, it was for us more difficult to start and put right away pressure. So I think in this in this way today, this was a was really good start. Like right away, get into it, right away, push it, and uh, and try to get control. Um, at the end, uh, we made we, we we are making too many mistakes, and this is the thing. And um, the other sets also. Opeko got somehow control, but we gave them control because we played even with our outside hitters on one on one situation, and still we hit in the block. And uh, for me, this is not only technique, this is also attitude. When you know that you're in a one on one situation, you, you must go to kill the ball. And I have been a player and I know it. It's unforgivable and if you want to play high level to have a kill block. So, in this way, I think some players have to really, in our team, have to think a bit where they are and what is their role in our team. Um, for the rest, I think uh, we had a very good service, but also this uh, we, we lacked a little bit at the end. And, um, our uh, reception was also staying there, but even when we had a good reception, we didn't score. So, the main thing is that uh, we need, we need in our team, we need a killer mentality. And uh, Diana is uh, perfect. Today, uh, Diana was fantastic. We, we lost, you cannot see it. But for me, Diana Segovia was really great. This is, uh, she had a great attitude, great mentality. She went for every ball in defense, and I always say, because I have been there myself, if an opposite start to defense, it means something. So she, she didn't give up until the end. So for Diana, it's a pity that uh, the rest of the team or in the team it went like this, but I think she really played a really, really good game, one of her best. And uh, you can look at statistics, because here we are good in looking at numbers, but for me, uh, I don't care about these numbers. If you say 50 balls, only 18, sorry, but she made points on the right moments. And the kind of balls she hit in this moment in Finland, there is no player like this. So, Luca has Mayfield, we have Diana. <laughs> That's true. In the next games, that will be nice battles. But, uh, you know, yeah. really sometimes I say that statistics are like Mediterranean bears. Most yeah. of the time, they lie. Yeah, yeah. So, that's true. I, we don't, I don't really don't mind that. I prefer yeah. videos. Than yeah, videos. yeah. Even if, of course, we have to study because it's part of the job. But I completely agree with you. Yeah. About that. For me, the best statistics. Uh, okay, I think we have really good statistics. But when I have to scout game of Hopeko, I thank you, Luca. Uh, this is uh, a very nice material, a very good information from from them that I get in my hands. From other teams, sometimes. <laughs> but uh, people are learning and yeah. I'm learning too and I hope in the future that also this part of uh, our, our court in Finland will be better and better and better and that there is attitude of teams and clubs towards that, that's most important, so let's hope. In meanwhile, Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> Any questions to coaches? I would li like to ask about yes. Norway. How is yeah. it like in there? How was the game? Like? Yeah, Norway was a um, it was a very good game. We, we played really well. The Randaberg is best team in Norway, and um, uh, we respect that. So they did a good job. But our team, I think, after the Salo game, we had a really, really good reaction, and uh, we played really tough. The whole trip was organized perfectly. So I thank. Our club for that, uh, the trainings, the everything around it was. We were in super conditions in that way, so 
That was really great. It was a good boost for the team. I think in the first set we still had that boost, but uh, we need to keep it going. Match is ended when the last ball is on the ground. Can't be satisfied. So and, uh, I hope you know team is happy. And, uh, this is important. Today is a little bit off day. We have now time to work during Christmas, New Year time. So we, we focus on the next Challenge Cup. And Norway comes here. It will be a big day, big happening. Uh, so, yeah, it must be kind of a, what? You will find out. Yes. <laughs> Any other questions? How about the third set? Your first set was on a bench. Why? Uh, I needed to change something. And um, my uh, attackers were not scoring. And uh, that's why I changed the setter. Of course, Auti did a really good job. Really good job. Uh, pity, but it's obvious. I know it. Uh, I'm missing the block with her. Against Hopeko, against a team like Hopeko, this is too small setter in that way. So, But in her setting, she did a really good job. And, and the girls got up again. Uh, but in the block defense, we, we, we were suffering. Uh, that's where Mayfield actually start to, was starting to play. I really had, had that confidence. So that's why also in the next set I changed. Sometimes making a change can do something. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I also need to take risks.